two things. Comedians don't appreciate their jokes being stolen, and Steve Harvey has rubbed several comedians the wrong way. Two things humorists don't see the value in their jokes being taken, and Steve Harvey has annoyed a few entertainers. Well, it seems as though Harvey has ended up in some difficulty again. This is what he implied by Steve being in a tough situation. Once more, Steve took my material on his show. So I had a hamburger on that on what show on when he was on his that he had. And he did, he did all my Halloween material one curry. Didn't keep down on allowing Steve to have it. This is valid stuff that truly happened to me. Thus thing is you didn't need to do that homeboy. So you realize you brought in sufficient cash. You realize you brought in sufficient cash. You did enough. You had any idea about what, why you on my material. And this is the very thing Steve needed to say regarding the allegations in Prank Curry. Says that you're actually taking his jokes. Hello man, pay attention to me, no doubt now. This I'm becoming ill of this here, no doubt in Prank Curry. Need to grow up, Steve Harvey. Ain't been in front of an audience, starting around 2015 anyway. Curry doesn't appear to be purchasing Steve's story. And you realize individuals need to hop. He didn't realize he didn't take your so. Yes, he did you know. So you know thus that that there's compelling reason need to no other person has did that everybody with experience in Chauvez realizes that the business is a dangerous slant with intricacies coming up each and every other day. These intricacies found in all parts of the business appear to be most pertinent in parody it very well may be as one celeb acquiring another's craft, or in this particular case, one fully taking another's craft. This is precisely exact thing in Prank Curry is guaranteeing that has happened to him, as he is by all accounts calling Steve Harvey out on a public stage. The comic who turned into a sensation in the business in his initial years has evened out specific charges against Steve Harvey the vast majority of which paint Harvey as something contrary to what his image rely on, as per the subtleties Curry is spilling about the VIP daytime. Have it appears to be Harvey's days, being a comic, probably won't have been essentially as easy as he caused it to appear Curry, is charging that a portion of the things that caused individuals to become Steve Harvey fans could not precisely have come from the comic himself now. In an IND like diversion, where the lines could undoubtedly get obscured you'd expect that claims like these could come up occasionally. Anyway, what presents this defense remarkably hazardous is that Steve Harvey has been up to speed in a snare of other comparative issues throughout the long term, and it appears to be that history may truly pave the way to the subtleties that just came from Curry. Might it at some point be valid? Is Steve Harvey truly not the completely flawless holistic mentor? We've all believed him to be you maybe going to figure out a piece of his example of overcoming adversity that appears to have never made it into his book. So I surmise I don't have to advise you to remain tuned television syndicated program. Oak, this was the one he had on NBC. As of late anything, that no doubt the one that that Dan who took his show from him a uh, Kelly Claren, how could Kelly Claren take your show home slice? With circumstances like these, the issue is generally that the individual evening out an allegation at another person to a great extent has nothing to lose on the grounds that they've not gone extremely far in their profession. But rather, this portrayal is a long way from who in Prey Curry is this is one of the numerous viewpoints to this story that has made it stay in the titles for such a long time as you don't actually get to see many 90s stars emerge to point fingers about how somebody could have done them filthy in the past. Yet that is certainly not Curry most popular for playing Imprint Cooper in the hit ABC sitcom. Hanging with Mr. Cooper Imprint Curry is one of those stars who broke into the business while turning into a star was just a fantasy for a great many people with a foundation in stand-up the comic come entertainer visited overall selling out satire clubs and theaters with his enthusiastic energy and regular stage presence, currently anyway Curry, is by all accounts more centered around an uncovering individuals who are considered as the augs of media outlets as only material taking fakes. And it appears Steve Harvey may be his most memorable stop 
Curry, known for his simplicity of making satire out of his biography, has in two late meetings asserted that Steve Harvey reused his material for jokes on his shows. Some time back in print, Curry guaranteed that Steve Harvey took a portion of his jokes on his NBC television show Steve during an appearance on Fox Spirits, The Mike and Donnie, show the comic, and hanging with Mr. Cooper Entertainer, said he had meet with Harvey over the circumstance Steve took. My material on his show, so I had a hamburger on that he said, when he was on his Bulls Bullet Mark T television show, that he had he did all of my Halloween material one Halloween Steve, took my material on his show, so I had a meet on that on what show on when he was on his that he had, and he did he did all my Halloween as per everything imprint said to TMZ in an unstable new video distributed on Monday Steve who used to have NBC's Little Top Dog, purportedly took his comedic material, once as well as two times my thing with Steve Harvey, was is that he utilized his my material on the to his foundation, no doubt after I conversed with him. I saw him at DJ I went up and conversed with him. I said, man, you're utilizing my material, the comic uncovered to the TMZ staff, that he definitely disapproved of Harvey in the past, yet the joke-taking continued. He said the 58-year-old comic has asserted Harvey made his quips on both the Steve show and children. Say the darnest things my thing with Steve Harvey, he utilized my material on the to his foundation. Curry told TMZ staff, you're removing cash from my pocket, you've made it, you're exceptionally rich, quit utilizing my material. Says he realizes that Steve Harvey took his Halloween bit. Since it was an individual story, he was discussing himself growing up in print. Made sense of I saw him, Steve. And I went up to converse with him. And I said, child, you utilizing my material, removing cash from my pocket, you brought in sufficient cash, you're extremely rich, you don't need to remove it from me, however, at that point. He utilized it on his other, show the children show Curry's cases, about Steve had individuals talking. And a portion of their takes were out of the blue steady one individual composed I sympathize with his aggravation. I've been managing scandalous individuals appreciate that my entire daily routine. I seen him print curry experience. And he gave you your best possible value. And he ain't the first to criticize Steve Harvey. Everyone ain't loathing on him. So it's a trace of validity in what individuals are talking about that fella well taking everything into account imprint disapproved with a comic utilizing his material Steve Harvey. Quit utilizing my material call me. And I'll let you know how to utilize my material. He said furiously gazing straight toward the camera. In the event that you will take somebody's material basically do it right in print finished off by saying he was ready to do his own parody extraordinary before long seeing this Steve's whole image is based on being an upstanding resident who chooses whatever is best except he didn't take the cases from imprint too well imprint shade on the off chance that you grow up Steve Harvey ain't been in front of an audience beginning around 2015. Well, he said he utilized him on one of your shows ask imprint Curry what joke he discussing, Steve Flatout denied the robbery by and large, and asserted that Curry lacked the ability to name the joke he guaranteed, was taken in any case. I becoming ill of this here, imprint Curry, needs to grow up Steve, started Steve Harvey ain't been on a phase, starting around 2015 ask imprint Curry. What joke he's referring to when the questioner referenced that imprint had expressed that the host utilized his joke on minimal big cheeses, Steve answered, Are you messing with me appears to be the allegation, could have stir struck a rope in Steve, on the grounds that he was truly going at curry, find a hobby, get a vocation, Steve later said, I've never taken a joke in 35 years. No doubt he said, are you messing with me, he said that he faced you about it previously and afterward. Even after that again, still ain't getting out whatever joke. It is find a hobby, get a vocation, go accomplish something, man, he added. Steve Harvey ain't been in front of an audience beginning around 2015. The unbelievable comic expressed alluding to himself in third individual. He proceeded to add ask imprint curry. Everything joke. 
he discussing wiped out say to him to grow up man after additionally advising Curry to find some useful task to fulfill and get a profession, Steve didn't just ruin him, he likewise made sense of that imprint, didn't have a clue, guaranteeing that the comic was essentially making stuff up well. Curry demonstrated that he was doing everything except making stuff up on the grounds that the comic later pulled up receipts about his claims, further warming his issue with Steve Harvey. He took to his Instagram record to offer proof in a now-erased video that Steve had, without a doubt, took lots of jokes from him. For his show, Steve in the video, that imprint transferred, he thought about match one of the episodes of his 1990s television sitcom, hanging with Mr. Cooper during the episode. Imprint was discussing the way that he would wear an earthy colored box to make himself look like UPS during Halloween. Shockingly, Steve made precisely the same joke in a 2015 episode of his show Each Halloween. I had a similar outfit on each year. I 